Why is lying such an abomination to the Lord? Because every lie is rooted in idolatry. I lie because there is something more important to me than the honor and the will and the plan of God. Well, I guess this, it would just make sense given the way Proverbs approaches life that honesty would be a key theme in Proverbs. There's simply no place in all of the Bible that holds before us more the importance, the blessing, the honor of a life of honesty and integrity. I, I, when, when I first wrote those words down on a piece of paper, I immediately thought of Psalm 51. As David is confessing his sin, he says, Behold, I was uh, shapen in iniquity. Uh, that literally the wicked go astray from the womb. You know what it's, the Bible says next? Speaking lies. One of the, the things that sin does to us, it removes truth from our mouths. It's the tragedy of the damage of sin. Uh, yet there is a God of truth who prizes truthfulness in every way. Read the Proverbs and you will know that dishonest gain is the fool's way and wisdom's way is always honest in every way. I can say this to you for sure. There is literally no chapter in 31 chapters of Proverbs that doesn't talk about honesty in some way. If, if honesty were the color red, the entire book of Proverbs would be dyed red. That's how significant this is. Now that makes sense because God is the ultimate source of everything that's right and true. I was hit by this when I was reading through the Proverbs. I came across Proverbs chapter six, verses 16 through 18. This is a very familiar passage. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. I was, I was, sort of laughing at this, there are six things, seven that are abomination, because there's only actually six things mentioned here. Because lying is mentioned twice. It's the way the list begins and it's the way the list ends. A lying tongue, there in the, the beginning, a false witness, there in the bottom. I mean, this is so reprehensible to this God of wisdom that in his list of things he hates, he mentions it twice, just so we get the point. Uh, wisdom is, is always truthful. Hear the words of uh, Proverbs 8, 6 to 8. This is talking about what wisdom does. Here, for I will speak noble things, and for my lips will come what is right, for my my mouth will utter truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteousness, and there is nothing twisted or crooked in them. They are straight to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. Lying is such, why is lying such an abomination to the Lord? Because every lie is rooted in idolatry. I lie because there is something more important to me 
than the honor and the will and the plan of God. If you want to know how much idolatry in your life, look at the way that you bend and twist the truth. For some pleasure, for some benefit, other than what the Lord calls you to. Thank you.